Toledo's 62 homicides have residents frustrated, and after last week's homicide, it is prompting city leaders to take more action. Council members are now considering declaring gun violence a public health crisis. Kaylee Kirby looks into what this would actually do. It's been another violent year for the city of Toledo. 2022 is currently tied for the second deadliest year on record, and it's prompting city leaders to declare gun violence as a public health issue. Toledo City Council member Teresa Gaddis is introducing this resolution. It comes on the heels of another homicide and weeks of council members urging leaders to hold a public safety committee meeting. It's clear to us that we have a lot more work to do, and this is a commitment um, to the residents that we represent that we're, we're stepping up our game. Gaddis says this is just the start and that more is in the works. Meanwhile, the Lucas County Health Commissioner says it's important to bring a spotlight to gun violence. He says it all intertwines with the overall health in the community. The problem didn't, didn't stem from something that happened yesterday. The problem has stemmed from, from historical concerns. So we need to be able to address those historical concerns. And it's not going to be solved tomorrow, but we have to begin acting on health in general in this community, whether it's mental health, uh, whether it's physical health. Both understand why Toledoans are frustrated, but say there isn't one solution to stop it. We can't just look at it as, as the police need to fix this. There's, there's more layers. There's mental health, there's domestic violence, there's all these layers, trauma, that, that we need to start peeling back and, and, and supporting the residents of our city. It isn't the first time city leaders are placing more emphasis on this either. The mayor declared gun violence a public health crisis in 2020, and the health department already has programs in place to help reduce gun violence. We started a childhood wellness program, uh, which really is looking at childhood wellness preconception to 18, which includes gun violence and behavioral concerns. Gaddis says she is committed to making sure Toledoans are safer in their homes. If this resolution is approved, it could also position the city to get more grants and state and federal funding. Reporting in Toledo, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.